Okay, so now we're gonna seal it with the super sealer. All we do is we do the mop and slop method. Over there, it's a little bit damp in that corner. We're gonna get that dry. You just don't want any standing water. So we've got some air movers on it. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna finish cleaning up, cleaning up our equipment and start loading it up. When we're doing that, it'll dry, and then we'll start slopping and mopping the super sealer. as a whistle. Okay, I'm going to show you how we're going to lay down the Sager Super Sealer. Oh, this is a ceramic tile and grout. Some of you are going to say, well, what's he doing applying it on the ceramic? This is not a wax. What this is is a fluorochemical uh, penetrating solvent based. We're going to apply it on the whole thing. Use a microfiber mop. Get your whatever choice you want. We're going to just spread it over. The reason for this is rather than go up every grout line with a grout stick, which is awful, nobody wants to do, apply this on this because the rest of it on the surface is going to flash off and it is not a wax. So it's not one of those coatings that's going to be a problem that someday down the line you got to remove something. So essentially we're just going to get it down here. This is an O2 jet on this one. I'm going to show you how to make this container out of stainless at some point with a little bit of mods modifications that'll be better. So we put it down. Since we're going to get it floating on there, the idea is the mop's going to absorb some too and make it go. You're just going to even it out. Just like mopping the floor. The idea is that the penetrating sealer is going to get down into the grout lines. It seeks to get in there. Notice down here, Brady, show where it's a little foamy. I've had people like say, hey, it's foaming up. That is actually not a problem. That just shows it's actually getting into that grout there. So if you see some dark areas or something where it absorbs and penetrates more, then you might have to give it another shot. But essentially, this is all you got to do. You can go up and down a little bit. If you see something that you need a little more attention. But this is the fastest way to seal your grout these days. And this works on upholstery and carpet. Same product. Upholstery, carpets, tile and grout, stone. It works. And... Less is sometimes better. Don't over apply. You can see how I'm applying it here. That's all you really need to do. You get coating on it, you start mopping it around. I like to take it in sections so I can reach it. I don't have to be crossing as much. This will dry in about 20 minutes. Starting on the surface, two hours dry, so if your clients are not home, like in this case, there's nobody here, you don't have to worry about drying it. But if you need to dry it, we have air movers. You can speed dry it. Give it like this 10, 15 minutes of absorption and turn an air mover on it. Let it start drying it up. Again, this foaming, this making it look white in the grout lines is not a problem. Me, I'm just making sure because this is a uh, automotive repair facility. Make sure it's in there. So again, I've sprayed that area. Get a lot of coverage for that area. You don't have to overseal. I've had a few people who have uh, definitely oversealed at times. Takes way too long to dry. Run into all kinds of crazy stuff, but and you don't need that much. Keep in mind, your mop is absorbing some too. Because it's not absorbing into the top of the ceramic. There'll be a little benefit on top for a while, but this is essentially going to flash off. And anything on top would wear off, but it's an invisible barrier. Just keep an eye on it, keep an eye on your grout. You can see when it's getting in there. It goes quick. Where this was still working from the last time we 
cleaned it and sealed it. Just get it. You'll see it going into the ground. You can kind of see what it does. Again, it's not really, it, it's not a wax, so you don't have to worry about like perfect. It's gonna seep. It's gonna kind of level itself. It's gonna seek to go in to absorb scenarios. I'm actually even overdoing it, but I'm intentionally showing it. <laughs> so, it's shiny at this moment. It does not enhance. It does not shine. It's going to dry and look exactly the way it was as far as a dry state. If for some reason somebody comes through before it's dry and gets footprints on it, reactivate some on the mop in the area, just take out the footprints. It'll happen. It'll take it out. So let me get this little section. You can also do the entire area if you wish. Back your way up. I'm just, as it travels over the grout lines, it pulls, it pulls it off the mop head. That's when it starts to white up a little bit. So again, I just did that whole section, just squirting up there, and I have enough on the mop head. I'm watching, and the grout is absorbing what it needs to. Because this has been sealed before with our product, and I can kind of tell it's doing some of its job. So the shininess, that will not remain. Again, that will go away. I'm leaving an air mover here because I'm not. Speed dry area. Tell them where they can get this fantastic super sealer from, you Mark. You can get it at sagers.com or John Don currently. Again, use it in pure form. You do not mix it. It comes pre-mixed, if you could say, because solvent and ready to apply. Now, goal-wise, I would probably have had an extension cord here and plug in and start blowing from this direction in just a few minutes of dwell time. Giving it time to saturate in and pull itself down. But I know I can get over there too, or if I have to cross it, I can, and then just walk my way out again. And Brady's stuck over there, so he has to go all the way around and come this way, then I do it again. This is That's me, it, folks. People. I'm trapped. That's right. So if you were trapped, we had a few levels, multi-levels. We had to do the area, dry it off so that we could go to the next level. That's it. You're done. Super sealing.